A patient came to my dental office requesting that an amalgam filling in tooth 1-5 be replaced with composite. I chose Venus Diamond because it guarantees considerable stability, particularly in the areas that bear occlusal load. It offers low shrinkage and outstanding handling properties. Following anesthesia, a rubber dam was placed in position and the amalgam filling and caries removed. As can be clearly seen in the mirror, I performed a tunnel preparation as caries was present in the mesial area. This minimally invasive approach allows the contact point and the area around the ridge of the distal margin to be retained. Once a transparent matrix band was inserted and secured using wedges, I-bond self-etch was placed in the cavity and rubbed in for 20 seconds. Air was then blown onto the adhesive with increasing intensity. I ensured that no areas of excess material were left and that the bonding surface was shining glossy. I then applied Venus Diamond Flow and Shade Baseliner to the floor of the cavity. The advantage of Venus Diamond Flow Baseliner is that it can be very clearly distinguished from the residual tooth structure thanks to its opacity and white color. Particularly if a re-entry is required, the floor of the cavity can be very clearly distinguished so that healthy tooth structures do not need to be removed unnecessarily. To facilitate shade adaption, Venus Diamond Flow in shade OM was placed in the cavity. The mesial tunnel area was also filled with this material. It is very easy to place in the cavity without causing bubbles. I also used the same flow material in the distal area in order to ensure perfect adaption of the material to the matrix band in this area. I then applied Venus Diamond A2 to the distal area of the tooth. The same material was used to model the buccal triangular ridges. I now modeled the final morphology of the occlusal surface. Additional angled ridges were created and the marginal ridges formed. Here you can see the final restoration, which was cured thoroughly once again from all sides. Once the rubber dam was removed, the tooth could be finished in its entirety. I once again used an oscillating diamond file that is ideal for processing the buckle contour. The occlusion was verified and adapted using a lens-shaped diamond tool. Finishing of the occlusal contour was followed by polishing. I prefer to use the Venus Supra system for polishing. This is a two-step polishing system with a pink pre-polisher tool and gray high-gloss polishers. Replacing an amalgam filling with modern composite material, in this case with Venus Diamond, can be considered a success. In terms of aesthetics, the material has been superbly integrated into the oral environment. The patient left the practice very happy with the result.